Hello children, welcome to my channel. I am Meena. My channel is Meena Max Academy and daily I am posting my important, very important problems. Okay, damn sure problems and the guest paper also I am thinking. See here, uh, pair of statements theorems already explained three theorems. This is the fourth theorem in this total five are there. In this five, one theorem is will come. Okay, compulsory you have to do. Okay, now yeah, come. P, pair of straight lines. Theorem what ma here? The equation S is equal to what ma? AX square plus 2HX square plus BY square plus 2GX plus 2FF plus equal to 0. See ma here length equation. Equation of pair of straight lines full form is there. Okay. And it represents a pair of straight lines. We have to prove that 3 here. Okay. What is it ma first? H square equal to AB. Second one AF square equal to BG square. And third is distance between parallel lines. Or what ma? 2 into root of G square minus AC by A into A plus B. And also equal to 2 into root of f square minus bc by b into a plus b. Okay. These three parts are there. Okay. Now, here see ma parallel lines. Parallel lines, what ma? What is the formula? Parallel lines is ax plus b by as it is there. Only constant, only separate. See here. And now here, what is given? You are right first. First, what ma? Pair of certain formula is there. Na? General form here, right? ax square plus 2hxy plus by square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equal to 0. Okay. Got it. This is the value. Okay. Now we are taking parallel lines. Right. Represented parallel lines. Represented parallel lines are parallel lines are sima. Here is a separate theorem. See. Lx plus my plus n1 equal to 0 and lx plus my plus n2 equal to 0. Got it. Two lines are. How will you take? lx plus my plus n1 equal to 0. lx plus my plus n2 equal to 0. This is a very important theorem. Okay. Then here is what important means here. Parallel lines means this is a both, uh, both lines here. lx plus my only there. Only constant only separate n1, n2. Got it? This is a form of parallel lines. Okay. Now equate them these two lines. Okay. And see here. S equal to 1. Now compare them. Now we have to multiply. No, see here. Lx plus my plus n1 equal n1 into Lx plus my plus n2 equal to 0 into. Here these two lines now. Then multiply them. Now just to compare them. Okay. Then here multiplying with Lx with Lx we have to multiply these three step. Next my with multiply them. Next n1 with multiply them. That give an expression. Okay. Now with Lx. See L into L. Lx whole square. Right. Means you have to write L square x square plus lmxy right next lx n2 plus lx n2 okay lx completed now we are taking my see my here lx my l means lmxy okay plus this is my m square y square m square y square okay next what ma my n2 m y n2 Got it? Now third one also there. N1 LX plus N1 LX. Okay. Plus MN1 MN1 Y. Okay. Plus N1 N2 plus N1 N2. Got it? See 3 plus 3 plus 3. Total 9. 3, 3 is a 9 terms. Okay. Got it? This is very important. How will you write? How will you expand them? Right. Then what are the square terms are there? L square x square plus m square y square plus only constant here n1 and 2 is there. Now compare them both equations. Okay, what is a? Now comparing coefficients on both sides. Comparing coefficients. Okay. Now a equal to what ma? L square. Okay. B equal to c ma? M square y square. Right. B equal to m square. Okay. C equal to mass C. C there now. Only constant is N1, N2. Then right here N1, N2. Okay. Now, XY terms how many are there? Here XY is there. LM, XY. And here also LM, XY is there. Right. Then 2LM equal to 2H. 2H equal to what ma? 2LM. Okay. Next, X terms come on them. Here LX, N2. And one more is X coefficient. What ma? Here, there. Okay. Then X coefficient, you have to take them. Then here LN2 plus N1L. Right. Then you write here X coefficient. What ma? Here 2G. Then write here 2G equal to LN2. L1 of N1 plus N2, you have to write. Here LN2 plus LN1. Okay. Got it. 2G over. Next, 2F. Okay. 
two f ma only y coefficients. How are what are they? Uh, here there here there this two ma. Okay. Now m y m common them. Okay. N one plus n two. N one plus n two. Y coefficient only. You know, that's why we are taking here m n two plus m n one. That only m common here m of n one plus n two. Okay, you common all terms, right? Comparing six terms are there, six terms are comparing. Okay, this is the procedure first. Next, first bit what ma h square equal to ab. Yeah, now see first bit I am writing here h square equal to ab. Now in this part we are taking LHS h square ma h square means what ma here two two cancel them. Then h what ma lm, right? Then you write here lm square is there na then that square. Got it. Then what ma? L square m square. L square m square what? A B only. Then that is equal to what ma? A B. Okay. Therefore what? H square equal to A B. Yeah. First one proved. See ma here H square equal to A B is there na? Then first you are taking L H S. H is what? H is here L M. That's why apply them. L M whole square. L square m square. That is A B. First one over. Okay. Now we are taking second one. Okay. Look at this. Okay, second bit ma. See, I am writing here. Second bit, I am taking a f square equal to b g square. You have to prove that b g square. Okay, first I am writing here l h s ma. L h s a f square. Okay, now a is what ma. Write an l square. Okay, f is what? F means m of c ma. M into n one plus n two. Half by two, f only one. That's why two send them down. That is this f square you have to write. That is what my a f square. Okay. Now here this uh, c m square. Okay. N one plus n two whole square. Don't spread them. Direct only square only you have to write. Okay. By two to the four. Okay. Like this there. Then now l square you have there. Okay. Now we have to prove that b. B right now that's why m square outside taking them l square inside tell them then sigma m square half l square of n one plus n two okay then you write a whole by two whole square see now l of n one plus n two is what ma two g right two g g what ma here l by n n one plus n two by two whole square then what it will be here g square m square what b that's why right here b g square Got it. M square is B ma, not M. M square is B. Here in this part, what ma? G. G. His square is there. That's why what I'm here. G square. Therefore, what? A F square equal to B G square. Second bit also completed. Here in this theorem, three points, some three bits are there. In this three points, three sums like that. That we will prove that. First one completed. No, H square equal to A B. Second one, what? A F square equal to B G square. The third one is only important. That is the uh, between parallel lines. Question between parallel lines. We have to prove that this. Okay. Next. Okay, third one now see ma. Third one is what is distinction between parallel lines. We have to prove that that. Okay, two lines are there na. This parallel lines. Okay, now distance between parallel lines. What is the formula ma? Distance between parallel lines. One formula is there ma. Distance between okay parallel lines. Parallel lines. What is the formula? Modulus of one formula is there in straight lines. What is that? Modulus of c two minus c one by root of a square plus b square. This is the formula. Okay, now compare them in this equation. What is c to here? N two minus n one. Then I am writing here sigma n two minus n one is modulus by root of a square. What is a here? L, l square plus m square. Got it. Now apply just applying in that given formula. C two is what ma n two minus c one is what n one by root of a a square. Here in this lines, what is a l? That's why l square plus b is what ma m. That's why m square. Okay. Now we should complete them this uh, theorem. That only that is the answer. Okay. Now see ma a minus b. Before theorem I explain now like that only here a minus b is there now in terms of root is there. That's why I am writing here n two minus n one whole square. Then write root. Got it. Down also root there na root of what l square plus m square. Okay. Now at a time we are taking root. Got it. A minus b whole square. I told the formula before what a plus b whole square minus four a b means you write n two plus n one whole square minus four n one n two is divided by l square plus m square. What is what my a plus b l square plus m square is a plus b only. Right here n two plus n one. We are taking n two plus n one. What ma? Two g by l. Right. In this right two g by l. 
whole square minus n1 into what must c minus 4c by a plus b yeah now split them that is what is my 2g whole square means 4g square by l square here see 4g square by l square okay minus 4c divided by what my a plus b under root okay then see 4g square minus l square what my l square is a no then you write here 4g square minus 4ac by a into a plus b why because here l square is a no it will come down then a of a plus b that is root yeah now 4 common them take out outside then what my root 4 is 2 that's why 2 into root of g square minus ac by a into a plus b got it a into a plus b that only answer okay this is also equal to f square minus bc yeah how will you that how will you prove that then now see here in this part after this part we are taking this from this we are getting another one see here mm, this also equal to n1 plus n2 now i am taking my 2f here see in this part 2f by m you have to write here 2f by m whole square minus 4c by a plus b got it after this step now again you write this step then you in terms of f ma okay that's why i'm writing here this okay then what it will be ma 2f is whole square is 4f square see 4f square m square is there now m square is what ma b right minus 4b c i'm taking lcm also it will come b down b of a plus b got it now here take out 4 it will, we will get a, that formula what is this ma this formula is 2 of root of f square minus bc by b of a plus b okay this is the another one just two steps only extra there then you have to prove that also in terms of f that's why this formula is a very important theorem okay it represent parallel lines you should, you should prove that distance between the parallel lines are 2 into root of g square minus ac by a into a plus b also equal to 2 into root of f square minus bc by b of a plus b this is also important theorem okay this is the fourth theorem remaining two are there are in the two, first two one one important ma lightly the two star one one more theorem, theorem also there okay then that film also i will upload okay please share my channel subscribe my channel like my channel any comment any which chapter you want then you write in the comment box okay thank you